Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hemicraft Season 7 with me, Fault Symmetry. I am stood on a random tree because nowhere is safe today. Everyone is going ham. Everyone is literally out to kill one another. There, of course, is the head games going on. Meaning today is a terrifying day, a day where hermits can come out of nowhere and just kill you because they feel like it and they want your head. <laughs> so I think right now I am potentially going to be hunting people down, maybe trying to get in there with a little bit of some scare tactics at the very least. Not necessarily going to try to kill people right now. But I think we could definitely try and scare some people. In fact, let's head on over that way in a little bit once I've got my levels back and uh, see if anyone's over by the head games. I've got a feeling that old shopping district is going to be where people are going to be uh, during the head games quite a lot, I reckon. So uh, that is going to be the prime location that's nearby where I can hunt some people down. Okay, let's see if there's anyone over here to potentially scare a little bit. Maybe even steal their head, I don't know. Anyone? Oh, there's got to be someone shopping. Like, the shopping district is, like, the most central area of, like, the whole server at this point. Everyone is always over here. Especially recently in my videos. There have been people, like, everywhere. But it doesn't see. It's, it seems pretty deserted. Wait. Is that someone over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who is that? Who is that? Hey, I'm oh, oh, whoa, 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 what are we doing? How what are you? Are, what, what, whoa, 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 hey, I'm not ready for, I have 70 okay, levels. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll hold back. Uh, oh. Just funny I would find you here by the, uh, you know, the head monument. Yeah, well, I mean, the games have started and look around. Look, look around. Corrales is going crazy. Is this all Corrales? Oh, yeah. Uh, most of them are. He's going crazy because apparently right now you can get 10 points for the first head put on these poles here. Yeah. Which is so getting in early is is a good idea. So I I brought I brought mine over. I was going to. Okay. I was okay. Gonna, I was gonna, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, stay out just, of my. <laughs> just look in. Just look in. I, you okay, know, okay. Uh, I have some to put down as well. Um, oh. I have an idea for you. OK. Instead of mm -hmm. killing you. Do you want to group up? Well, I like the idea that you won't be killing me. So well, that's I, good. I still could. <laughs> I mean, I do have a bow ready. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea, I think. Group up, right? So basically, if we pulled all of our heads together, mm -hmm. then and then if we win the thing, then we could just like split the diamonds 50-50 type thing? Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of diamonds for one person, you know? We can, we can share Right. That. Considering I barely have any, I'll take what I can get. At this exactly, point. exactly. <laughs> so okay, I mean, as long, that's not against the rules or anything, right? We can no, we can team up. No, no, that's that's that oh. seems fine. Apparently, excellent. <laughs> All right, well, let's do it. Hey, listen. So I get a lot of the heads from like my farms. I have uh -huh. the raid farm, I have the guardian farm. So I can just farm those like crazy. And if you want to do more of the player head stuff i mean that that is my plan you know as you as you saw firsthand there <laughs> I, I yes i i was like checking to see if i had a shield or something on me well i do have my totem of undying Ooh, oh and ew, if we team up i could hook you up with those i we mean that plenty. that would be great yeah i don't have any at all <laughs> okay all right well let's do that i'll try to help you keep you safe with the totem of undying so give you a little edge when you get in the fights and yeah try to take out any of the uh, hermits that have place their name in the combatants and mm -hmm. i will uh i will farm i basically. like it so you're the brains with the farms and stuff i'm the mm -hmm. uh I'm, I'm the brawn with the perfect the bow and stuff that i i would rather be <laughs> friends than enemies i'll tell you that exactly so yes <laughs> cool that, awesome yeah that's a good deal so i do think that we should wait how's this gonna work if we have to put everything in one of our names, right? So yeah, that that we do, person went. Okay. So let's just do this. I will just give you what I have right now, and you can put them in your name, get those early points. Okay. And then, yeah, we'll just put everything in your name, and you win, and then we'll split it. That that sounds fine to me, yeah. Nice. All right. This is going to be fun. I, Sweet. I think we got a good chance of winning. We got to win this, dude. We need to beat Corrales at the very least, okay? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> He's owning <laughs> we can it right do now. It. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely take over. Well, there we have it. We have a chest full of stuff. He also chucked me some totems of undying, 
which is very, very cool. But I need to get on and name these. I think he said, let's get all the all the hermit heads out first. And I need to name them all. Uh, I think he said to do Jevon first. So I think I need to name it. I'm just going to put false. So we now got double points for Jevon. So that is, what is that? Six points for Jevon's head. Okay, that's good. And then I guess, who else do I have? I have a mumbo head. Can we get... Wait, how, who's got my head? How dare they? Mumbo, yeah, Mumbo's not on this yet, so I need to like name Mumbo really, really quickly. And the idea is we just want to get this done as quickly as possible before anyone turns up. Okay, something that is really nice here is that we've got three green heads. One, two, three. <laughs> Yo! Dude, I'm so glad Impulse decided to uh, team up with me. That could have been really bad. That could have technically, right? I could have gone really bad. He could have decided to fight me then and there. And to be honest, I wasn't really my most kid up I could be. So, but he didn't know that. He didn't know that. So I think we've sort of tricked him up. Right, where's Vintage Beef's name? He also, I think, has been really lucky with the Wandering Trader, right? Because he seems to have a lot of these heads. Dude, we've got a lot of points. You know what? We might be co competition for Karanas right now, actually, just with these ones already. And we've got Doc's head as well. These aren't anybody's, okay. But uh, but yeah, so I've not had any wandering traders, sadly, at all this season, which is really strange. But hopefully at some point we will we will get there. I have definitely gone past his name. There we go, definitely got a third there. Sweet. Another thing he has a lot of is these guys' guardian heads. We could win with the guardian head farm, honestly. I know they're only worth one point, but actually what I can do is something I might hold on to are my dragon heads for a little while. I might hold on to them and put them in later on and uh, sort of give people a false sense that we're winning currently probably, but that we probably can be easily beaten at this point. Someone can definitely overtake us, but if I've got the 10 point dragon heads, if I hold on to them towards the end of the game, people will think that we're not that far, like we'll, that they're really, really far ahead of us. And then I'll come in with the 10 points, which is, gonna get filled up up here pretty soon and then we'll hopefully overtake people so that is my plan I think currently right well I guess we better get home and quickly as well because uh, <laughs> I should probably put one of these on my hotbar just saying but yeah basically apparently from what I've heard from Impulse is that uh, people are PvPing pretty quickly and pretty soon I've not been on the server before recording that clip um, really for very long so it's kind of terrifying and people know where I live and also where I live is very open uh, I guess that means there's less places for them to hide but honestly I don't feel all that safe in here so with that news that people people are PvPing uh, pretty soon I'm probably gonna have to update this you can see I've just got a mishmash of stuff I've got fire protection boots for some reason uh, I think I probably got these from um, the end raids and I've also got like this bunch of gear in here that I want to like put like books and stuff on so I think what I'm gonna do with my many many diamonds that I have now I want to, well I say many diamonds, it's not that much, although our shop could technically have had some more sales, but what I want to do is get some levels and then put some books. I do have some of my own with my own villagers and stuff, and basically get it to a point where I can then start wearing this. This stuff I think is, yeah, pretty good, this stuff is pretty good as well. Yeah, basically try to make sort of free sets that we can like put together. I do need to make some more chest plates, especially but um, yeah, we need to be as protected as possible so that I can have the best possible chance to kill whoever comes to attack me. Because I feel like at some point it may happen and uh, I need to be ready. So with that news, I've come over here to the end portal because I have heard from, I think, Mr. I. Jevin that there is now a farm in the end oh that scared me dude that little noise oh no dude i'm not even gonna mess with you i'm going straight through but basically apparently there is a farm here somewhere i'm not sure where but it's meant to give you xp and i need ender pearls for my shop of course um someone has told me how i can make it a little bit easier for people to get into it because apparently people have been struggling to get into it because well, of course, it doesn't really have much of a, a, an easy entrance to get into. But where on earth is this farm? Oh, oh, it, there's stairs there. Oh, I didn't see those. My bad. Okay, well, I guess we are floating down to it. Oh, which is terrifying over the void, of course. 
But this thing looks kind of cool. This thing looks really like old school ender farms. Oh, there's loads of ender pearls as well. So apparently there's even a sword, but I think my looting sword is fine. I guess let's try and turn this on. And see if it works. Oh, oh, that's terrifying. There we go. That's better. <laughs> there are a lot of guys here. Oh, and apparently they can still hit me. Fine. Fine. Um... I just hope this thing is safe enough that I'm not going to get uh, attacked too much. Now, is the hopper lock on? I don't know, but I don't... I don't know. We'll, we'll find out once we kill these guys, I guess. But man, the XP is plentiful here. This is great. Uh, there is a guy literally walking down the path, though, towards me. Uh, this is not safe, uh, Jevin. Um, Jevin. There's guys, they're, they're waiting for me. Oh, that's terrifying. I saw his eyes over there and I was like, he's coming for me. Am I gonna have to leave the end with my levels or am I just gonna die to an enderman? Right, now to leave without getting killed first. <laughs> oh, it's a little challenging, a little challenging, I Jevin. Uh, they were a little bit dangerous on the end, but I think if you kill them all before you leave, you should be okay. And 44 levels is what we've got to work with right now. I can always go back, of course. And, oh, you know what? While I've got the ender powers on me, I'll let me refill my shop. Okay, anyone over here? I need to be careful again, of course. Don't see anyone nearby. We should be somewhat okay. I'm gonna put, I think... Oh, I don't have any dirt on me, but I'll do that for now. Let me chuck those away. Let me put the ender pearls on the top. That's what someone said, and I thought that was a good idea. Um, so yeah, if they need ender pearls, I guess, to get in, then grab them from there, and then teleport in. Now let's see how much we have made. Nothing. Yay. <laughs> I've actually noticed that actually a lot more habits are going to the end themselves at the moment. So uh, obviously at the moment it's not necessarily that likely that they are going to need to buy some, but that's fine. Uh, if they ever need any just extras, of course they are in there. Prices could definitely still go down, but um, for now that is all good. Speaking of exciting stuff though, there is this. Tag 2 Electric Boogaloo. Please use the full name, of course. Welcome to Tag 2, Electric Boogaloo. The aim of the game is to hold the tag for as many in-game hours as possible. One hour equals one point on the tab list. So yeah, you see those zeros? A lot of people have been asking about those. That's what it means. You need to hold the tag for one hour for one point. And I've not seen anyone with one point yet, so I don't know who has the tag. The first to 50 points wins all the diamonds. You can get the tag by any means necessary. PvP, trickery, bribery, traps, or selling. You can even AFK. Rename a diamond block to enter. Ooh, okay. Right, well, I, I guess that's something we're doing real quick. Hopefully no one comes to kill me while I'm like literally signing up for a, a different game completely. Um, are we good? It's so, dude, I'm so, I'm so on edge. I'm so on edge. Anyway, let's rename this to false. And um, there we go. I am alongside these people in the tag to Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Gotta say that part. You know, can't miss that part out. That, that part's the, the most important, of course. So over to Corellis' shop yet again, which by the way, lack of blast protection, five out of 10. I think he now has... Let's check, let's check. That's a Mr. Mumbo Jumbo over there, isn't it? <laughs> oh, there we go, he's got blast protection now. Oh, do I have my bow on me? Let me, let me do it, just a couple, a pop, a couple pot shots. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it anymore. <laughs> he's already looking at me like, what the heck? A, bi a big shot at. Where did he go? I don't know. Anyway, I need to change this sign. This review is wrong now. Scary stuff, I know, right? Um, I'm not even I'm not even geared up yet. Um, 10 out of 10. F false. There you go. Bingo. Boom. There you go. You're welcome. You're welcome, Corellis, for the re review. Thank you for adding the blast protection now that I don't need it. Anyway, I do need protection, so I'm gonna quickly grab that before I end up dying to Mumbo Jumbo because he's nearby. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not feeling very confident right now. 
Right, well, all my stuff should now have protection on it. In fact, let's get geared up right now, just in case Mumbo <laughs> gets really angry with me for giving him some pot shots, some, some morning shots. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we're looking good. Have we got mending on everything? No, I need mending on the chest plate. That's a good shout as well, just so that when I... You know what, I, I, guess, I, yeah, I guess I don't need it right now, but we've got a mending villager ourselves that's pretty cheap, so... I don't mind spending uh, our only mending thing on that. But yeah, that's pretty good. That and my sharpness sword, which needs to be sharpness five, I know I will get to that, don't worry. And uh, guys, what else do I need? Impulse gave me this, I'm pretty set. And, and I've got a shield on me. I should probably get a foot and steel. I don't know. I, don't, I just, I feel like I'm ready for PvP now. <laughs> but we'll save it for another day because uh, I'm not sure how ready I am. So Impulse and I decided to get back together again towards the end of the day just so that we could actually get just a few more points. Now, this is going to be something that I'm sure everyone is doing, at least to themselves, and that is killing themselves for heads because that is something that you can apparently do. I haven't tried killing myself just yet with like an arrow or anything like that, but I believe it potentially can be done. So I think that that is gonna be the route that a lot of people are gonna be taking. But as you can see by this clip here, I didn't record the audio, Impulse and I had quite a bit of fun. And with that, our acting skills are second to none, of course. Did you see that in chat? If you missed all of it and I cut some of it out, um, basically I killed Impulse five times. He said spawn camper. I said, I'll leave you for now. Winky face, rip 70 levels. And then he said, found you, killed me once. You thought you were safe, killed me a second time. And then he said, I'm heading out. And um, honestly, that was pretty humorous. We were just stood there going, yeah, let's just say this next. Let's just do this next. Oh, it does actually say killed by. Hmm, this is weird. But anyway, the reason we did this, if it wasn't clear already, is because we need to do this. <laughs> Corrales, I'm sorry, dude. You you went too fast. You got you went too fast. We had to like catch up. Where where on earth is impulse impulses here? Someone someone's here. Someone else is here. Someone else is here. Fly, fly, fly! No, no, no. Oh, who is that? Who was that? Who is that? Who was that? Someone was there. Oh, did I forget to put impulses in there? I don't know, but there was someone standing there. Or flying there. I don't... Did I put all of impulses in there? Oh, I did. How about... Oh, yeah, of course, I had some, some couple spare. <laughs> I wondered why there was two spare then. I thought I'd only killed him three times. Anyway, there you go. Impulse and I, I think we got the best idea. You know what? If we don't win this, I'll be kind of... Kind of a little bit gutted, but... um. I don't know, it was, it's, it's been pretty fun so far is all I'm gonna say. I'm not looking forward to the rest of the PvP uh, so much though. Well, that about wraps it up for the video. Now that I am all prepared and ready for whatever comes towards me, I'm gonna do some more sort of enchanting in general, not necessarily for PvP, just uh, I, I need some good stuff anyway. So I need some spares. I also need some good bows. This one's got infinity, so that does mean it doesn't have mending on it. And I should probably stop carrying my spare armor around with me. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. See ya!